And welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers along with Bob Sellers. Fox News' Chris Wallace hitting out at Congressman Jim Banks during the Fox News Sunday show saying Republicans were actually the ones wanting to defund the police by voting against President Biden's American Rescue Plan. Listen to this. Congressman Banks, you voted against that package, against that $350 billion, just like every other Republican in the House and Senate. So can't you make the argument that it's you and the Republicans who are defunding the police? Uh, not at all, Chris. Now, some say Chris Wallace was uh, bashing the GOP again, as he's done in the past. Let's bring in our panel. Um, and and uh, Melanie, I'll start, <clears throat> start with you on this. Um, Chris Wallace, I think he's a respected journalist, and a lot of people feel that uh, uh, he may have gone out of his way here, though, to, to make an argument that Democrats haven't made very well themselves. And this is one of the things that Democrats have done very poorly. The whole defund the police idea almost cost them the election and probably will cost them the next election. The protesters said defund the police, yes. AOC said defund the police. AOC and the, and the not so fabulous four said defund the police. Right. Uh, uh, um, said get rid of the police completely. Local, um, local uh, 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 politicians such as Mayor de Blasio went ahead and defunded their police. How's Portland. that working? Defu exactly. Portland, local, lo their, their local politicians went ahead and defunded their police. So what is Chris Wallace talking about? Is re He's really starting to irritate me. Is yeah. why, why is he Wallace? irritating you? Because, because he, he is continually, he's supposed to be an objective journalist, and, and he has been, has a really good reputation over the years, but here lately, he's been doing a pretty good job at bashing the GOP, and I think that clip was a pretty good example of that. Yeah, he you know, the thing about far it... Yeah. in that clip to bash the GOP. You know, the thing about it, Steve, is that that ignores the fact that these bills that Biden wants to get through, they're like a smorgasbord of all kinds of pork uh, on there. It's not just money that would, would fund police. And to extract that, to say, well, if you vote against that, you're voting against police, that really seems kind of like a cheap shot. It absolutely is. But good old Chris Wallace, that's what he does. And, you know, his his whole strategy is to basically get the viewer that only pays attention a few minutes of the day to hear that soundbite or that, or that interview and think that the Republicans definitely don't want to fund the police. But just as you said, Bob, there's a whole line of objectives and spending that, on principle, Republicans aren't going to go for. And I think the proof is in the pudding. We see who the Republican Party is. We see the conservative movement. And they are pro-police. And as Melanie said, let's just look at the Democrats, AOC and many others out there that have no lip service, but they take action to actually defund the police. And I think America gets it overall. Yeah. And the thing about it also, uh, Ford, is even if there's money for police, they're actually maybe for police departments. They want to give them to social workers. They wanted to give them. Absolutely. Not, there's no guarantee that money's going to go where you and I might say. Right. They, didn't want, they didn't want to just defund the police as well. They wanted to reimagine the police. Exactly. So even if they're given that money, um, that doesn't right. mean that their idea of where that money goes and our idea of where that money should go are the same. That's why it seems to me, Ford, that it, it's kind of unfair for Chris Wallace to represent it as a, such a simple thing that you're voting against police. Well, to your, to your point, Bob, that is some serious mental gymnastics by Chris <laughs> Wallace. And if you want to know why trust in corporate media is around 27 percent, well, now we know why. And, and further to your point, just because we didn't support $2 trillion in pork that was not going to protect COVID and not actually uh, help the police because of the different ways it was going to go, somehow the Republicans are a bad guy. We all know why this is happening. The bottom line is heading into the 2022 election, when Democrats look at the polls, they see their biggest problem, and that is rising crime across this nation, particularly in those suburban voters that they, that they won allegedly in 2020, and now they're trying Trying to figure out a way around this and the bottom line is this is occurring because of their own policies 
their policies where they don't treat criminals like criminals, and as a result, they marginalize the victims of these crimes, and they only embolden the criminals. The Democrats have no one else but themselves to blame, and here is Chris Wallace trying to help the Democrats. Further this morning, every Democrat walked on TV today and said it was the Republicans who were defunding the police. Yeah, I rest I, my that's the thing. He served him up this in a, in a planner. Right, yeah. I mean, and we take it, can we bring back up those numbers that we had earlier? The numbers speak volumes when you take a look at the city, specifically Portland, the number of homicides year to date up 800%. Let's just stop there. Washington, D.C., where Chris Wallace lives, uh, homicides up 35. I don't know if he lives in D.C. proper, I should well, say. That, but, you know, he there, spends yeah. the majority of his time. 35%. He works there. Yes, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago. What do all of these cities have in common? They're run by Democrat mayors. They're Democrat, primarily Democrat cities. So, uh, you know, I think... And they need police. Uh, and they <laughs> desperately need police. And now the Biden administration is trying to go backwards and pull in more police again after you've had all of these folks quit and you've had folks saying, you know what, if you're not going to appreciate me, then I'm not going to become a police officer. Melanie? Absolutely. They've said this. And now I, I find it interesting that uh, Bill de Blasio has also done this as well. He says, yep. no, we need in Times Square. I think we might need some more police. You, you think? Yeah. <laughs> you, think yeah. you think so, Bill? So just yeah, we had a shooting in um, Times Square here, near Times right. Square. Exactly. And now he's going to put some, some more cops there. Right. Huh. Why would you want more cops? What good would that do? Yeah, I, yeah mean, I, I think it's it's very interesting that he's decided to do, to do that. Yeah, funny how he needs cops all of a sudden. Yeah, it's too little too late, I, I think. Well, I hope that's not the case, yeah, I should say. Too. You know, I yeah. hope that's not the case. But you have shootings in the middle of Times Square at the largest hotel in all of New York City there in Midtown where people are supposed to be safe. Um, you know, I was outside on a walk yesterday and I was right in that area and I had actually looked at my watch and said, you know what, it's around 4.30. I should be getting home now because things are going to start to happen. I was right. It's just ridiculous. Ford? Heather, but it's not just shootings and homicides. It's right. robberies. It's carjackings. Yep sexual assault it's assault it's simple assault it's every crime in the book that's a felony yeah that's because uh, steve you can just show up uh, you don't have to come up with any bail or anything they just want you to come back please come back yeah exactly exactly and it's funny that you see a mayor lori lightfoot arguing with the newsmax mm -hmm. reporter that crime's actually down in Chicago when it's up 22%. Yeah. I mean, who believes this stuff? I mean, it's incredible. And they say it, and they say it with a straight face. And I don't know if they believe it or they're just lunatics because, I mean, the, the, the numbers don't lie. All right. We're going to leave it there for now. Yeah. Folks, the tragic Miami condo collapse as the investigation continues. The questions are swirling. Could this happen again when American Agenda continues? <laughs>